Hi, my name is David Steele. I'm a product manager here at Arcturus. Today I'm going to show you how to set up and configure the UCBF 54X Blackfin based embedded media module and kit. So when you get your kit, it'll arrive in a box just like this. You just want to open that up and uh, you'll find some documentation. The documentation is a getting started guide as well as some uh, additional information such as your warranty registration card and also a support registration card with a code on it. Uh, that will allow you access to the online support site, which is where the rest of the documentation is contained, as well as the software distribution. In addition to that, you'll also find all of the cables that you'll need to actually do your development. So serial cables, uh, Ethernet cables, as well as a headset, and uh, of course, a, a power supply as well. There are two pieces of hardware that come with the kit. The first piece of hardware is a host board. So this is the host board. It's the host board for the UCBF 54X module. So the module connects using this 200 pin SODIM edge connector. And the host board provides the breakout connectors for the standard uh, connections, as well as power supply, some GPIO, some test points, and some daughter card headers as well. So there's power, Ethernet, two serial connections, push buttons, power supply, and LEDs. Uh, there's also an interface card, which is plugged into the host board as well. The interface card has the breakouts for the codecs on it, for the three codecs from the module, and also an SD card slot. The second piece of hardware is the Analog Devices Blackfin-based UCBF 54X module. So there's the uh, Blackfin processor, as well as the memory, memory network connection, and the codecs are located right there as well. So this just connects directly uh, into the uh, host board. You just need to place it in at about a 45 degree angle and then snap it in place. There we go. And uh, now what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, I've taken a couple of liberties. Uh, I've already set up my, uh, my power supply. I've got a network connection which is connected back to my mini hub here and my, my laptop is on the same mini hub as well. Uh, and I've also got uh, some PC uh, audio speakers, so I'm going to use those instead of the headset for this uh, particular demo. So what I've done here is I've just plugged in uh, the power connector. Uh, I've plugged in the Ethernet connector into ETH1. And now I'm just going to uh, also plug in, there we go, the uh, PC speakers into codec to output. Now uh, I can check to make sure that the device is booting up and uh, that everything looks OK. And I can do that uh, just by confirming, first of all, that uh, the three power supply LEDs on the host board are actually lit up. I can confirm that uh, LED number four, which is a software status LED, is either solid or blinking. And I can confirm that the three LEDs on the module, which are the network LEDs, uh, are connected as well. That means I've connected to a network. So the next thing I want to do is I want to log into the device and configure it. Uh, so to do that, I need to know the IP address. And there's a cool little tool inside this uh, module and the software that's pre-installed uh, that helps you uh, find that out. So all I need to do is press, uh, press SW3, so located right here. Your IP address, 192.168.1.1. And as you heard, that read back my IP address. So I'm just going to press that SW3 again to disconnect. And then I'm going to go to my web browser, and I'm going to enter that IP address in the URL line of my web browser. And what that will do is it will bring up the home page of the uh, Blackfin module. And what I'm going to do next is just log in. So I'm just going to click on the login icon, which will bring up a pop-up authentication window. And the username is admin, and the password is admin. And then we're going to click on OK. And that'll bring, bring us to the home page for the device. And the home page contains uh, status information about uh, your VOIP account, as well as other information on the device, such as the IP address 
and the host name. What we're going to do next is just configure the Voice over IP account by going to the top and clicking on the Voice over IP tab page. This will open up the account configuration page. Most accounts can be configured uh, using this page, and there's some accounts that are already predefined, just to help you out a little bit. So account number one is set up for a Vonage soft phone, account two is a SIP phone account, account three is free world dial-up, and account four is set up as a generic Nortel account. So I'm actually going to connect back to a server that's located on my desk, so I'm just going to delete all this information and put in my own information. So I'm going to call this my server, and I'm going to make the phone number 5003, and the display name, um, let's call it Paris Hilton, and the authenticated user is 5003, and the authenticated password is 5003, and I'm just going to put in the IP address of my server, 192.168.1.216, and the port number is 5060. Then I'm going to change the port number down here, 5060, and 5060, because that's the standard SIP port. And then I'm going to click on Apply. And when I click on Apply, the device will save the information to Flash, and then it will start to try to register the device against the service I just set up. Before I leave this page though, I want to set up one more thing for the uh, push to call demo. I want to go over to the phone book, I want to click on the phone book, and I want to set up an account that I've already configured on my laptop using the Zoiper soft client that I have on, on my, my laptop, and it's at extension 5000 on my proxy. So all I'm going to do is add a name and the telephone extension number it's registered at, which is 5000. And I'm going to click Add. And then I'm going to go over to the button on the left that says Speed Dial, and I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to confirm that Speed Dial number 1, which is right here, is set up for 5000, which is my laptop. Now, speed dial number one and number two correspond to GPIO SW1 and 2. So let me confirm that my settings are okay and that we're registered. I'm just going to click on the tab for the home page. And I notice that I've got a green dot over here, which means that I'm registered. I notice that my status is online and it's set up for 5003, an account called My Server. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to reach over and I'm going to press. SW1, which should cause us to place a call to my laptop. So let me just have a look here. And I've got an incoming call from Paris Hilton. Always wanted one of those. And now I can test the voice. And you can hear in the background uh, that's my voice coming up. So I'm just going to disconnect that. And that's how you run the push to call demo.